Hello friends, this is Jim O'Rear. Welcome back to Jim O'Rear's Wacky World. We are out here at Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights. And if you didn't know it, on City Walk, there is a really cool bar that they do a different theme every year. And it's called the Dead Coconut Club. And they'll do it up like Universal Monsters themed and stuff like that. But this year, it is two themes. This year downstairs is a 1980s style vampire bar. And upstairs is a Bloomhouse inspired bar. So come take a look with us at the 2024 Dead Coconut Club. On the upper level of City Walk, you'll see this is the Red Coconut Club. And during Halloween Horror Nights, it becomes the Dead Coconut Club, which is themed in various ways. Now this year, as I said, it is an 80s vampire themed club with Bloomhouse film characters in the upstairs portion of the club. But uh, as you walk in here, we're gonna take a look around and show you what, what it all looks like. This is the Dead Coconut Club entryway, and you have all sorts of very cool 80s style vampire things. That couch is awesome. Uh, got some big neon wings here. And you'll notice right here is the stairway that goes up to Bloomhouse with the Bloomhouse logo. And we'll take a look at that in just a moment. But first, let's look around the 1980s Vampire Club. As we enter here, you'll see uh, the lighting and everything is wonderful. You've got a skull wall there. You've got some coffins um, on the dance floor. And that's uh, a very large bar area down here. Here's a closer look at that skull wall, which is, is pretty cool, which kind of frames the dance floor. And uh, against that dance floor are these caskets that are broken so that you can see this creepy light that comes off and on in them and sort of fades in and out, which is very cool. As we look around, there are details everywhere. Neon bite me signs, look at the the little glowing vampires on the walls and the, the skulls. Um, and they've got a lot of cute things like this right here. This is a blood shower. It gets soaked in 30 seconds with all you can drink blood. And you'll see they've got the blood hooked up there to a bunch of tubing that goes to the shower head. Just fun little details. Here is a Fang Fighters video game. Of course, it's out of order because this is just a prop, but uh, it's a neat, uh, a neat little addition, a neat little uh, detail. Uh, they've got a sign that says "Open until dawn." Of course, please do not drink and fly, and absolutely no sparkling is permitted. Sorry, Twilight fans. Now, this is the smaller bar, which is on one side. And uh, it's, uh, you know, it's a cute little place to, uh, to sort of relax. But then on the other side is the larger bar. And notice even underneath the bar, uh, against the bar wall here, when you look under it, there's these 80s style designs as well as bats that are mixed in there. Just really cool details throughout. Here's a cage with a guy that is having a rough night looks like um and then back here in the back is some more fun details there's a another dead coconut club sign with a little vampire hostess and you'll notice she's got her blood bags right there ready to serve some blood with a variety of glowing drinks to serve this table right here which has got some blood margaritas and little blood fruity drinks and you just have to look around this place to see all these details, like this sign, for instance, the VIP lounge, which is celebrating Vlad's 300th birthday. Life sucks. <laughs> all kinds of fun details to look at. And could this be Vlad right here waiting for the party to begin to come out of his coffin? I don't know. Maybe. He didn't open while we were there. But uh, anyway, that's kind of a look around the 80s themed vampire area downstairs. Now, let's hit those stairs that I showed you earlier with the Bloomhouse logo. If we go up here, we're going to transition into a completely different kind of bar. And you'll notice up here on the wall, they are playing Bloomhouse movies and Bloomhouse logo intros and things like that for their films. And you can continue on up the stairs. And 
this is where you're going to run into a lot of Bloomhouse popular characters, like this guy. And I'm, I can't remember what he's from, maybe Freaky Friday or Friday or something like that, but this guy, I know. He was all the rage for a while. Uh, super popular the Bloomhouse character, of course. We've got the Bayfield Babies from Happy Death Day. Got a little little thing set up there with memorabilia and jerseys and uh, the, the, the famous cake that was used in, in advertising. There's another section of the bar here which is based on the purge. And this area of the bar gets purged. I'm assuming the purge did not happen while we were there. Uh, we got out in time, but uh, some cool stuff: motorcycles and bodies wrapped in plastic. And there's some purge participants right there who have gone purging. There's even a little section set up for Megan, and uh, you know there's a, a recognizable scene from Megan as well as an actual Megan in a box. Very cool. And uh, like I said, this is a, a smaller bar area, kind of in a, a balcony, um, a, a balcony area. And they're playing on this giant screen above the bar scenes from Bloomhouse Films. And uh, there's limited seating, but, uh, but it's fun. So two completely different themed bars in the same place. Very, very cool. And as you've probably noticed by looking around the place, Lots of photo opportunities, tons and tons of photo opportunities, Instagrammable moments, places to take pictures. It's just a very, very cool bar. Even if you don't drink, go in there and check it out. They, they do, do this, like I say, just for Halloween Horror Nights at City Walk at Universal Studios Orlando. So if you are at City Walk or have a chance to go there, definitely stop in the Dead Coconut Club. Lots of fun. There you go, that is a look inside the Dead Coconut Club here at Universal Studios Orlando, just outside Halloween Horror Nights at City Walk. Check it out, it's a really cool theme. They have a lot of interesting themed drinks and things like that. It's a lot of fun. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. But thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.